about five feet tall. And, well, maybe four, and it's probably not five foot. I'm not seven feet tall. Um, but, yeah, it's almost five foot tall. Uh, this is a shaft from a medieval shop. Or, no, not medieval shop. My bad. Medieval collectibles. And then I put my cold steel axe head on top because I like that one. And I broke the other one, the other half, shaft, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I left it round because I wanted to see if you actually needed an oblong um, for indexing purposes. But like I thought, um, it doesn't really seem to matter with an axe, and I suspect hammers as well, because the weight at the end is pulling it in the direction you want it to go, which is down. Uh, and this is... If it was a thinner uh, pole, right, that it might be a problem because if you hit something, you wouldn't be able to keep a grip on it. But it's about an uh, uh, inch and a half diameter, inch and a quarter. So I just kind of like carved the top down <coughs> to get the axe head on. And I know that typically you're supposed to do it friction style or put a wedge in. I just like using modern day shit and putting a screw in that. So, uh, yeah, that's how I like to do it. So, it cuts really well. The, the cold steel axe head, the, um, their shit's amazing. Um, it, it cuts better than the Hanway clunker that I showed you all. I do like that one more though nowadays. But, if I had to fight with one, I'm fighting with this whole all fucking day long. This thing is great. And it's not heavy at all. This is a very light uh, staff, stave, whatever you want to call it. It's um, poplar, poplar or ash. I'm not sure which one. They said on their website it, it's either or a mix of the two. I don't, I don't really, I'm not a woodworker. I don't know how it works. So yeah, I'm probably going to sand it up, make it a little more rectangular just for looks and then like I don't know bar like not varnish it um, stain it so it looks more rugged I guess well yeah that's how that turned out um, very good I got it on sale I think it was like 25 bucks for, uh, for the, the, um, the one I got but yeah and you don't need them around because like I said look it just naturally goes that way it goes down you go you get a cut with it Easily stays on track, not a problem. And you just have a, a big ass stick of death right there. I don't do that, but yeah, it's not. I don't keep my axes super sharp. You don't really want axes super sharp. They more like cleave and fuck shit up. But um, this is. Still a really good cutter because on like just um, cardboard, like empty cardboard. Um, you know how sometimes if it's not very sharp, like it's dull even, or if it's dull and you hit something that doesn't have any weight to it, it just kind of pushes it or smashes it. Now this will cut through shit that is just a cardboard box, like a flap of a cardboard box. I've cut through that uh, really easily and it didn't move the box very much at all. So it's sharp enough, but it's a really good cutter. So that's pretty badass. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show that off. This is not my new favorite, I think. Um, although the Conabo is still probably more devastating. If I hit you with the Conabo, whatever I hit is going to probably like explode, crumble. Like your bones are going to like just be smashed. The Conabo is more brutal, but this is a little more effective for... Uh, fighting so yeah proper Dane axe finally I mean I guess the head's wrong some of them are bigger some of them are smaller most of them aren't bearded from what I've seen but I like the bearded axe the best so yeah it cuts really well and it's on um I can't remember if it was a 54 inch or 60 inch so it's either four and a half foot shaft or five foot one of the two. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, that's it. Um, Dane X.